Anybody can be a change maker. I get to speak to second graders about that. I get to teach third graders about that and you know, get to do that every day working with veterans. Three of my great grandfathers served World War II Army. Uh, one grandfather was Vietnam Army. And in fact, my sister is now at basic training. Uh, with the National Guard, Army National Guard. Uh, so military has been part of my family for a long time. Growing up with family members that have been serving, it's been something that I've grown to appreciate that the freedoms we have today are because of those that were willing to serve or, or those that paid that ultimate sacrifice. We're a 100% nonprofit organizations. We're volunteers all through, out and through. Um, so teaching is my day job. Honor Flight is just for fun. I'm, on uh, any time I can fit it in, um, but it's, it's rewarding just the same as it is with education. We take World War II, Korea, and Vietnam veterans from Northwest Iowa, Southwest Minnesota, and the state of South Dakota out to Washington, D.C., free of charge to the veteran. During that time, they get to see Changing the Guard at Arlington, they get to see all the war memorials, they get to see the Air Force, the Iwo Jima, Navy memorials, downtown bus tours of everything going on there. It's a whirlwind of a day, but it's a day of honor. And our veterans are thanked throughout the entire day and they come back with that sense of appreciation. Then they called it shell shock, now we call it, call it PTSD. Um, and it's, it's a real thing that veterans are always struggling through. Our goal in Honor Flight is to be able to at least try to bring that healing, that closure. When they see those memorials, they can see my service matters, my service isn't going to be forgotten, and you know, generations to come are going to be able to come visit this memorial and know that we tried or know that what we did was good. So Honor Flight is a national organization. Uh, there's 125 Honor Flight hubs nationwide, but there hadn't been one in our area since 2012. So when we started in August of 2017, we opened it up to Korea and Vietnam, as well as World War II that hadn't gotten the chance to go yet. You know, we're a nonprofit organization. We've flown 528 veterans. We've got 800 waiting to go. It's surreal, really. When we took our first flight, I didn't think we'd do more. I thought, oh, we'll do one flight. This will be great. And uh, as much change and as much healing as it was for the veterans, I think just as much change came to our board and our volunteers and said, no, there's something special going on here. We got to continue. So with my title uh, president, I'm also the director of the organization and both are volunteer. With president, I preside over the board, director is kind of the day-to-day -day operations. And uh, with that, it's lining up fundraisers, it's speaking with donors, it's talking to groups, it's speaking with veterans, guardians. Service is a big part of, of faith and whether that's uh, missionary work um, in, in third world countries or missionary work here within our area, I really think that my work here with Honor Flight is really living that out. Honor Flight, it, there's a whole bunch of emotions that go with it. It's, uh, it's not just a trip to DC, it's so much more than that.